Modifying NURBS objects, the create points rollout surf point. So for a surf point, we are going to put a surface point on a depend on a dependent sub as a dependent sub object, which will lie on a NURBS surface. So let's go and create a NURBS surface. Let's go up to create NURBS and let's go with a point surface. And I'll pick a point, drag, and I'll place my surface in and I'll right click. Now, now that I have a NURB surface, I'm going to go up to Modify, pick on the NURB surface, uh, and pick on Surface here. When I pick on the surface, I'll come down here and I get Create Points Rollout. In my Create Points Rollout, I have a button called Surf Point. I'll pick on Surf Point. When I hover over my particular surface, I get a pair of blue intersecting uh, lines. You can see it moves with my cursor. I clicked add a point. I'll add a point right here. And you can see I have a green asterisk put in that place. Now, if I were to come down and scroll down, I get my surface point rollout. With my surface point rollout, I get my exact U and V position. Uh, so maybe I want to tweak that exactly a little better. Say maybe I wanted it right there, and maybe I wanted it at 1.75. All right. So maybe I wanted to tweak those numbers. It's on the surface of that surface, so the surface point is on the surface. I could offset it any direction I want. I could uh, I could go uh, from its normal. Remember, its normal is its perpendicular direction from the surface uh, and the tangent. I could put it on a uh, a direction down its tangent. So once I have that um, particular curve point, I can right click and now I have that curve point to edit the particular surface with.